God's peace at time of death. Man is the only creature who knows that he's going to die, and it seems like he spends his whole life trying to avoid it. Listen to Joseph before he died, an interesting statement that he made. In the book of Hebrews, chapter number 11, and verse number 22, the Bible says, By faith Joseph, when he died, made mention of the departing of the children of Israel, and gave commandments concerning his bones. Here is Joseph, an old man. The Bible tells us he's 110 years old. He was able to live long enough to see his children, and the Bible says to the third generation, he was able to bounce his grandbabies on his knees. What a wonderful picture of a man who had a long and fruitful life. But Joseph, when he knew that it was time to die, he told his brothers, he said, I die. And here is where Joseph is really separated from some believers in his faith because we don't see uh, Joseph who is uh, weeping, wailing, gnashing of teeth, facing his death, uh, clawing and hanging on. We see Joseph, a man who's very respectful about the fact that he's going to die. He says, I'm going to die. And he gave some interesting instructions regarding his body and his bones for after he died. Now, when Joseph died, he was embalmed. In Egypt, that was customary. He was a very prominent person. He was a statesman in Egypt, and no doubt he gave, uh, he received an elaborate funeral. But Joseph did some things that will help us as believers to be able to smile at death when it's time for our time to go. First of all, Joseph rested in the unbreakable promises of God. Friend, this is where we separate our feelings from facts. And this is where we look at the Word of God and we are going to base our belief and our faith in the Word of God rather than our feelings. Now here Joseph is talking about the unbreakable promises of God. Some 300 years prior, God had made a promise to Abraham and God had told Abraham that he was going to make him a great nation, that he was going to be blessed, and that God was going to give Abraham a nation, a land. Joseph had saturated himself in the Word of God. Joseph knew the Bible. He was familiar with the promises of God. And where Joseph lived, he was in a good spot. He was a wealthy man. He was prominent in his Egypt, and his family was just fine. But Joseph was looking 400 years forward when he knew that God would visit his people, that God was going to take his people out of Egypt, and Joseph knew that he did not want to be buried where the Egyptians were buried. Joseph wanted to be carried out of that place. In so many words, Joseph was saying, I wouldn't be caught dead here. It's important when we come as believers close to death, that we get a word from God and that we rest on the unbreakable promises of God. The next thing about Joseph is Joseph rested in the unshakable power of God. There were some things that were going to need to happen in order for God to deliver his people. Joseph, by faith, knew that it's more than just getting a word from God, and it's important that you have the promises of God. But friend, you have to believe in the power of God to be able to deliver on those promises. What good is the promise of God if we don't have the power of God to back it up? That's where faith comes in. Friend, faith is not just positive feeling. Faith is not just uh, hoping for the best. Faith is not just feeling good. Faith is getting a word from God and knowing that the God who gave the word is the God who can follow through on it. I want you to think of all the things that God did when God was able to deliver on the promises that he gave to Israel. God rolled back the sea. Remember the ten plagues that God delivered on to Pharaoh? This was all done by the power of God for three or four thousand years since the Hebrews have been talking about the unmistakable power of God 
the way that God brought out and delivered his people through his power. Do you believe in the promises of God? If you do, you can smile when it's your time to die. Do you believe that God who gave the promise is good for the promise? And do you believe that God can deliver on those promises? The power of God to deliver on the promise of God. And then one more thing that will help you as a believer when it comes to your time to die. You know when somebody dies, we say rest in peace. Not too long ago, I uh, eulogized a person and did a funeral. And we say rest in peace. But I wonder how many people, even believers, genuinely are resting in peace. Joseph was able to go to his grave. Joseph closed his eyes with a smile on his face because he had the peace of God that passeth understanding. Now very quickly, there's a difference between the peace of God and peace with God. If you know the Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, the Bible says that you have peace with God. How does that happen? Through Jesus. The Bible says about Jesus, He is our peace. Trusting in Jesus Christ gives you peace with God. But now we need the peace of God. Jesus said, My peace I give you, peace I leave with you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. You know, at every turn, everybody's talking about peace, but there's not a lot of peace to be found. I hope when it comes to your time to die, that you're ready to die as a believer. I don't want to go kicking and screaming. That's the world. I want to be able to smile at death knowing that I'm resting in the promises of God. I believe in the power of God to deliver on the promises. And because of those two factors, I can rest in peace. God bless you. I hope you find this video helpful. Share it with somebody and like it. God bless you.